chicken and potatoes. Now, some of the steps have already started. Like, I cut the potatoes in quarters and I boiled them for eight minutes. And then I made the marinade for the chicken. And I've been marinating that. And the marinade is two tablespoons of soy sauce, one tablespoon of olive oil, two teaspoons of hot sauce, half a teaspoon of pepper, half a teaspoon of garlic powder, and half a teaspoon of onion powder. And then a half a teaspoon of Italian seasoning. And then you mix it all in the marinade and you let it, you let it set for maybe, I, I'd say probably 20 minutes I've let it set. So, let me move that to the side. And now on um, medium, and now on medium heat, I'm going to heat up two tablespoons of butter. And one tablespoon of olive oil. If you don't have olive oil, then I'm sure any kind of oil, like vegetable oil, will be just fine. Okay, so I'm going to let that heat up on medium heat. Got all of that melted. So now, when you finish boiling these for 8 minutes, then you drain them and set them aside. And now, you're going to, this is a pound of golden baby potatoes. So you're going to fry them about eight more minutes. And I know this is a lot of potatoes, but most likely I'm going to set half of them aside and let them cool down and freeze them once they're done. Before I add the chicken. Okay, so I'm going to fry these. For eight minutes until they're uh, golden brown. Now I've got the potatoes fried. Let me show you what it looks like there. You can see that. See how the golden part is. They don't all have to look like that, but just try to get some seared and done. So they're done all the way. You can see they're here like that. See? Just be careful when you're when you're tossing them like halfway through I did. That way they don't break. So now what you do is you just take them out and set them aside. Now, if you have a large family, you're going to want to use the whole pound of potatoes. And I got some chicken tenderloin here. That is a pound of chicken tenderloins. Now, you're going to take these and you're going to set them into the frying pan. And you're going to sear it on one side. I'd say probably four minutes on each side. That marinade smells good. Like that so it doesn't stick. Now these these uh, meals they freeze good too. So you can 
always, if you don't have a big family, you can, like that me, you can just put it in the freezer once it's cool off as a meal for days you don't feel like cooking. Okay, so I'm going to sear it on each side for four minutes. Now you're going to add three cloves or three, I'm going to add three teaspoons of mixed garlic. And you just let that for a couple of minutes. Just fry in there because you don't want to burn your garlic. Just to add some aroma to it and so you smell it. Mmm, that smells good. Just kind of fry it in there. Like that. You see that chicken is nice and golden color. There you go. Now you're going to add the rest of the marinade which I have forgot to save, save some of it. So I just made half of the marinade that was supposed to go on there. I just made it. And to add more to it. Now it says after you add the potatoes back to add green onion and Italian seasoning. I don't have green onion and I added the Italian seasoning to the marinade instead. Okay, there we go. So now you're, I'm going to add half of these potatoes back because, like I said, I'm going to freeze some of these. Because there's no way I'll be able to eat all of that. And I'm going to freeze some of this chicken too. Now you're going to cook this until the chicken reaches 165 degrees Fahrenheit in the meat thermometer, or when you cut it in half, if it's white inside and no blood, then it's done if you don't have a meat thermometer. Okay, so I'm going to cook this. I'd say it probably will take another 15 minutes. Let it cook with the top on it for... 10 more minutes. It's all done. I'm going to take it off the uh, burner. I'm going to get off the heat and let it set for a few minutes and then I'll come back and try it. I'm going to try it for you. Mmm, those potatoes are really good. Very good. Let me try the chicken for you. Mmm, those flavors are really good. Very good. I made some green beans to go with it. Thank you for watching. If you're not subscribed, I hope you'll subscribe. And click the notification bell so you'll be notified when I upload a new video. Bye.